Yo, 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 this is your boy Fireworks and welcome back. This is Snoopers Gonna Snoop YouTube channel. The beautiful, beautiful white gold is here with me today. And if you can see the thumbnail, we're here to talk Jonathan Majors, okay? So I've done, I think, four videos of explaining what's going on with this situation and where we're at. Um, I was gonna wait because there's stuff that started happening that started look like in that, you know, Marvel, which is the reason why I'm even reporting on this is because we're Marvel fans. We liked Ant-Man in Quantumania. We were fans of Jonathan Majors being who he remains, Kang, Varian, whatever the case may be. Um, but it looks like things are just in the blender and she's not really updated on everything since the past stuff. So this stuff has started happening in the last two days, okay? I'm gonna report on everything that's happened in the last two days, okay? So the first thing that happened was Jonathan Major's talent manager, Entertainment 360, parted ways. And this, all this sources is coming from Variety, okay? They parted ways, okay? So that's his talent manager. Uh, Majors has also been dropped by his formal, former public relations manager. The, I don't know how you say that, the lead, lead, the lead company. Uh, a source with knowledge of the PR company confirmed that the actor was removed as a client last month. Okay, so he lost that. Uh, he lost his talent management and his PR. So if for people who don't understand what PR is, I talked about that with Black public Panther. Relations. Yeah, it's public relations. So I talked about that with Black Panther and people were wanting... Um, someone to be recasted as T'Challa so bad, and I told you all that they would never, Disney would never put their new actor that they wanted to play T'Challa and be the leader of Wakanda to go through all the PR of at being asked the questions about T'Challa instead of asking him about his own stuff. And that was one of the PR things that I spoke on. So PR helps you deal with public relations. It helps you deal with. They are meant to deal with situations like this. How to put you in a good light. How to get you in the best thing. They dropped it. So I'm going to tell you right there. For me first hearing that, I was like, oh, it don't look good. Okay. But after that, we have another report. Okay. So this also, this other report is coming from Variety as well. It's, this is from Variety. It says, uh, as Jonathan Majors prepares for May 8 court date on domestic violence charges, his PR problems are about to get bigger. Sources familiar with the matter tell Variety that multiple alleged abuse victims of Majors have came forward following this March arrest and are cooperating with the Manhattan District Attorney's Office. The prospect of more women waiting in the wings would mark a dramatic turn in the case and comes on the heels of Majors publicist and management firm, a management firm cutting ties with the embattled actor earlier this week. Okay, so now we have the situation that happened or, or what did or did not happen, right? Now you have multiple women coming out of the woodworks and saying, you know, he's done this, he's done that. So how do you feel about it? Because she's someone who watched the Johnny Depp situation big time. And when I heard that, that kind of sent me in that direction. Well, nobody really ever, nobody really else came forward with Johnny Depp. Like, not to say, I'll get to that, just hold on. But everybody you asked, his exes, his Anybody he's worked with, you know, like his co-stars or whatever. They've all said, like, he's a freaking good dude. Like, he ain't never came. He's not, like, he's nice and he talk, he's calm. And they just uh, judge his character as good. You know, nobody came forward with none of that. With him, I feel like they doing him, like, like Bill Cosby, not necessarily to that extent, but y'all coming forward now. They gonna hate me for this, but why, like why now that it's on camera or whatever happened? So you know, people to the preachers, right? Oh yeah, we ain't got there yet because there's a part so, three. We're just talking about the part two. 
of this situation. Wait till I get the part like, three. That's gonna blow you. There's if why are your why did y'all wait till just now? Like do y'all have prior police reports before he was famous? Like do y'all have proof though? Like you can't just come forward on somebody just because somebody else did and it's like out now. Where's your proof? Like if it happened to you, I'm sorry. I am. But where's your proof? Because you can't just go around accusing men of doing things if they didn't do it. So. So this is now. Now this is where it get crazy. Okay, this is where the tea heats up. And I was, I, I was like, man, Twitter's gonna go crazy in the morning. But ain't nobody really like been posting about it yet. So it says, Jonathan Majors is trying to offer more proof that he's innocent. And much like the text messages, we're not sure the proof is enough to vindicate him. According to Jonathan's defense, the man who is driving him and now his ex-girlfriend, so they have broken up, will and his now ex-girlfriend will testify the actor did not strike her. And he claims there's video proof she was not injured. She went out to a club after the altercation. Jonathan's attorney filed Docs Wednesday in Manhattan, informing the court that the driver witness went, went down between Jonathan and the woman back in March. According to the Docs, around 1 a.m., the driver saw the woman assault majors while she was attempting to steal his phone. So y'all remember those old reports? With all this information that I'm about to give you is about to glue that all together, okay? Further, the driver would testify Majors never struck the alleged victim in any way at any time or even raised his voice. Majors and his attorney also say the driver saw her hitting, scratching, and attacking Jonathan. And that Jonathan asked the driver to stop the car so he could escape her attack, which he did. The woman allegedly told police she suffered a broken finger and a laceration behind her ear during the altercation. However, in the document, it says that they have proof that's a complete lie. She says they have hours of security video showing the woman went clubbing and got drunk after Majors left her in the car. And she also texted accusing him of infidelity and threatening suicide. So do y'all remember when he said he called the police because she was in an emotional state? That's why the police got called to begin with, not because of an altercation or a domestic violence. As for when she was out of the nightclub, Major's court filing includes screenshots of security video showing the woman freely using her right hand, which she claims Major injured. Mm. In these videos, they, they say she casually pushes her hair behind her ear, reaches in her bag several times, and sorts through credit cards, handles phones, holds a menu, yeah. and easily holds a glass of champagne. They say she was seen partying pretty hard, throwing back shots of sham shots and champagne with friends without any visible sign of injury. And hey, this is not even this is about to get real, real right now. If that was real, now it's about to get real. When her night out the club was over, they claim she showed up at Major's house at 3:23 a.m., entered his apartment, called him 32 times, and sent several angry, jealous text messages. Majors was not home when she got there. Do y'all know that? She, he, she went back to the crib when he wasn't even home. None of the text messages accused John, Jonathan of injuring her, nor does she mention any discomfort from alleged injury. Right. They say Majors got home at 11.13 a.m. and found her unconscious, half-naked, on the floor of his walk-in closet. He also discovered she allegedly threw up in his bed and she'd taken a few sleeping tablets. Majors then calls 911 and says when paramedics arrived, the woman allegedly repeated, told him, I don't know, when she asked what happened to her. In the document, uh, his attorney claims body cam footage shows police interviewing the woman and clearly coaching her to say that Majors grabbed her by the throat. Chaudhry claims, or his attorney claims, that the alleged victim never made the claim to anyone prior in the officer's direction. The, his attorney and majors want the DA to review the evidence and swiftly dismiss the false charges against him. Take a look at the evidence below, and I'll put these pictures up, but there are pictures from this security footage of her out using her hand. And 
These are pictures. I'll probably have these down here. But there are photos that I'm looking at in this this article. Yeah, that's throwing up in the bed. That 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 reminds me of the Johnny Depp situation. But that's crazy. Now. And if he really didn't do that, like y'all need to stop. Now that, leave that man alone. Now that we have the information like this, how do you all feel? But the fact that they dropped him without like he, it ain't even been to trial yet. But the fact that y'all like dropped him just allegations. I think they dropped him. I think that those people dropped him because of the group of women that came after him. I don't think it had anything to do with the situation that happened to, to this. And this is what I this is and this is how I feel. I think he's screwed now. I think he learned a huge lesson. But I think he's he's screwed. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because that right there is the most detailed evidence we got. That describes every bit of what everybody was trying to piece together in the beginning. First, it was they was in a cab, remember? And the, and the, what about the driving video? What about that? What about footage? Then it was she called 911. Then it was he called 911 because he was uh, worried about her safety. He, he was worried that she was having an emotional incident, okay? So now we know that according to the driver, he was attacked. Not only after she he left her in the car, she went out, did her thing, then came back, got drunk, sending him message, drunk messages, which is what three something in the morning, perfect time. She home alone. She wants to deal with it. Everything that happened, she drunk. She she on she on the moment. She gaslight. He wasn't home. Smart man. But the thing he did, the thing that he did that wasn't smart is that he went home. That next morning, he never should went home. He never should went. He never should went anywhere near. He should have filed everything he could have against her right then and there. That's my take. And then on top of that, now he's gonna have to worry about the other women. I don't think he's gonna have to worry about this case. So this is my. This is the thing. This is why I think maybe why Disney didn't say anything yet. I think that's why his PR didn't drop it because of the multiple women. I don't think that Disney was worried about this actual altercation because apparently according to Deadline, he's still going to make $20 million from Kang Dynasty, no matter what. Uh, but I think that it's crazy. I don't know where it's going to go from here. I think maybe we might even get, I mean, we got screenshots. We might even get this video footage or something. But that's, that's about as close as video I think we might get. But I think that, that it's crazy. It's starting to look like you see what I'm saying? So, y'all let us know in the comments how you feel about it, man. This is this is crazy. First, we was on her side. Now, we was on his side. Then, we was back on her side. Now, we back on his side. But now, there's all these other women. So, who's the we on? You feel me? So, again, let us know how you feel in the comments. So, uh, before we get out of here, make sure you guys leave a like, leave a thumbs up. If you're new here, hit subscribe, tap the notification bell. So, uh, when we do a video just like this, you all will get it first, okay? So, uh, again, we're going to stay on top of this, I guess. Because if he get recasted, bro, it's going to be crazy. But I don't think it'll be bad for the MCU because we're in the multiverse. Variants are variants. They all look different. They all descendants. They all this other stuff. So you can do anything. I can get with that. It doesn't really matter. But the issue is, is that we don't know who's going to replace it. And some people were saying a Hawkman from Black Adam. And I was like, oh, God, no. That's, he too soft. He too soft. He need to be a little bit. He couldn't even do T'Challa. You all let us know in the comments who you think can replace it, maybe. <laughs> uh, but we'll see you all soon, all right? I'm Fireworks, the beautiful white gold. This new is just what you can.